And in our top business story, growth in business activity in the UAE's non-oil private sector rebounded last month from a 22-month low in June. The seasonally adjusted Emirates NBD UAE Purchasing Managers Index, which covers manufacturing and services, rose to 55.8 points last month from 54.7 in June, with a level above 50 indicating expansion and below 50 a contraction. Economists from banks stated that July's PMI is another indication that growth in the UAE's non-oil economy is proving resilient in the face of a challenging regional and global economic environment. The output sub-index rose sharply to 60 points in July from 57.5 in June, while the new orders sub-index climbed to 60.2 from 57.7. Employment continued to grow at the same moderate pace. Output prices fell last month with the sub-index at 49.5 points, but the input price sub-index rose sharply to 53.4 from 50.9, although it remained moderate compared to last year's levels. Three quarters of UAE employers responding to a new survey claim that they will be looking to hire up to 10 new employees in the next three months. According to the latest Middle East Job Index survey conducted by job website Baith.com and consulting group YouGov, just 3% of employers surveyed said they will definitely not be hiring any new employees within the next three months. Of those who said they will be hiring, 45% will be hiring junior executives, while 40% will be looking for middle-level executives. In terms of specific roles, the most popular candidate positions available will be for human resource professionals and executive assistants, both at 21%, followed by sales managers at 17%, accountants 15% and receptionists at 14%. When asked to which industries were the most attractive to candidates, 42% said banking and finance followed by oil, gas and petrochemicals at 36% and construction at 34%. Over a third of UAE workers in the survey said their company is currently seeking candidates with mid-level experience, while a third also said they're looking for candidates with managerial skills. The Dubai Gold and Commodities Exchange has registered an 11% increase in the volume of trade so far this year, with over 7.5 million contracts traded. The exchange also recorded the highest average monthly open interest in July with 78,391 contracts, beating the previous high of 59,688 contracts in March 2015. A key indicator of the exchange's robust performance was the growth in average daily volumes during July, which reached an average of 49,673 contracts a day, recording an increase of 15% of its same period last year. Volumes in the exchange's precious metal segment also saw new highs, with the recent introduction of Indian gold quanto figures, futures, which together with the Indian rupee accounted for 13% of DGCX's July volumes, reflecting the significant attraction that the new contracts have gained amongst the regional FX and bullion trader community. Additionally, according to the DGCX statements, currency segments saw strong growth with year-to-date volumes in the G6 currency pool growing 22%. And the recent volatility in the energy sector drove heightened interest in trading the DGCX WTI futures, which registered a year-to-date increase of 66%. Abu Dhabi's Aldar Properties reported an 18% rise in second quarter net profit on Tuesday that it attributed to higher recurring revenues, better margins and lower finance costs. In a statement, the state-linked builder of Abu Dhabi's Formula One circuit said that it made a profit of 601 million dirhams in the three months to June 30. This compares with a profit of 509 million dirhams in the corresponding period of 2014, with the company now having reported higher profits in seven of the preceding eight quarters. Aldar's second quarter revenue was 1.11 billion dirhams, which was down from 2.19 billion dirhams a year earlier. The company said it repaid 1.1 billion dirhams of debt in the second quarter, reducing its debts to 7.1 billion dirhams after it collected 1.2 billion dirhams in receivables from Abu Dhabi's government and sales of land plots.